Welcome everyone. This exciting moment has been a long time coming. I had the opportunity to be on stage launching the new Apple iPhone together with Tim Cook. That was the moment when all pieces came together. Our 5G nationwide covering 200 million people in more than 1,800 cities. And our ultra wideband, the 5G ultra wideband from Verizon with a goal of more than 60 cities by year end. The wait is over. 5G just got real. This is the 5G America has been waiting for. Our customers are gonna experience enormous speeds and fantastic capacity with a very low lag. And we're partnering with some of the most important companies like NFL, New York Times, Riot Games to bring the life to the new iPhone. The NFL is using the 5G to change the experience of the game if you're in the stadium or if you're at home. So let's have a look. So it's a great pleasure for me to introduce the commissioner of NFL, Mr. Roger Godel. Hey Hans, how are you? Good to be with you. Good seeing you, Roger. Uh, let's start of talking a little bit. Why, you, why do you think this partnership between NFL and uh, Verizon and 5G is so important? Well, Hans, I think it's because uh, we uh, are best in class and because um, I think we are focused on innovation and always getting better both Verizon and the NFL. And together, I think we're not one plus one equals two, we're one plus one equals five. Because you bring best in class in technology and you're, you really are helping us make our product better, uh, our experience better with our fans. And they have an opportunity to, to get more information wherever they are. And I think that is something that we are always seeking to do and you've helped deliver that. And 5G is going to be another level of that. And Roger, we have been working for a long time together with technology and innovation. But we also believe, both of us, that the fan experience is more important now than ever, given the situation. So how do you see that moving forward right now with uh, everything happening around us and the fan experience? How important is it? It's incredibly important. Uh, you know, today we don't have as many fans in our stadium as we want because of the pandemic, but we're able to deliver an experience like they are in the stadium. And, you know, with your super stadium app, we know that that experience is really important for our fans to get closer to the game, to get closer to the players, to feel like you're in the stadium. And the, the 5G platform is going to do it with lower latency and with higher speeds. And we're going to be able to make that experience like you're sitting on the 50 yard line. And I, I think that's what every fan wants is that inside access and that ability to get closer to the game they love. No, you're right, Roger. I think we are together pioneering the future of how you uh, will get the experience of sports. And I think the partnership has really played out well. And you, you talk about a couple of things that are important. The low latency, the capacity of 5G, and of course the speed of 5G. And that is creating that viewer experience that is new, uh, regardless if you're in the stadium or at home. And uh, how do you think that the experience will be? I think it's going to be incredible. I, I think our fans are going to just uh, respond to it in such a positive way because they've never, they've never seen this before. They've never had that perspective before. And to be able to get it on that kind of a platform with the speeds that you're talking about and the low latency, uh, I think it's an experience that they can only imagine right now. In a couple of weeks, they're going to be able to experience it. And, and I think that is going to be something that's going to be really special for our fans. And why we, we both stress between Verizon and the NFL, that innovation, always striving to get better uh, and, and trying to find best-in-class opportunities to make the experience better for both our companies. 
Uh, you have truly a fantastic uh, fan base. And of course, bringing 5G right now to the stadium and to the home is, is just an, a unique opportunity. And, and I would like to end by thanking you, Roger, for your dedication and your teams working with Verizon to bring this fantastic super app out. And we're all excited about it. Well, Hans, we couldn't be more excited about uh, not just the app, but more broadly, the partnership with Verizon. You make us better every day. When partnerships can get together and make our experience better for our customers, it doesn't get any better than that. So we thank Verizon and we're proud to partner with you. Great, Roger. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. So let me now talk about uh, another partner of Verizon that has been working with us on 5G, New York Times, and how they think they can change journalism by using 5G. Let's look a little bit about what that can look like. I'm excited to introduce the CEO of New York Times, Meredith Coppet levan Meredith, how are you doing? Good morning, Hans. I'm doing just fine. It's <laughs> nice to see you. Nice seeing you. So tell me a little bit about uh, what is the impact of 5G for journalism? I, I think the impact of 5G on journalism is going to be very significant. It's significant on the news gathering side, so for, for newsrooms, for, for reporters, for editors, photographers, and, and on the, the consumption side. And the work that our teams have been doing together in, in the 5G lab that we've built over the last 20 months really begins to, to show how we'll get at that. We, we've been working on, on two particular things. One is changing the workflow for some of our journalism because of what 5G can enable. One of the things we did together um, this year, one, one of the things our, our lab um, has enabled was we, we shot the Oscars, um, the red carpet of experience at the Oscars very, very differently using a new technology that we built in the 5G lab called Beam which actually allows the photographer to connect his camera directly to his phone, which means he is shooting and his, his photo editor in New York is getting those pictures in real time. Um, the photographer doesn't, in, in the past, the photographer would have to literally like stop and upload photos, which meant he, he could get less or he might miss something, or he would have to be in, in one stationary place so he couldn't sort of move around and see everything that was happening. Now, um, what this technology we've built for 5G allows us to do is collapse the time yeah. from shooting to editing to you know actually being able to publish those photos. And because of this technology that we, we built in the lab, um, we were able to shoot something like eight times as many um, photos from the red carpet of, of the Oscars this year, which is, is great if you think about that from a consumer perspective. That's a, a fun example, but if you actually broaden that out to all the things that, that journalism is doing, we now have that Beam technology um, deployed widely across our, our photo desks. So many of our photo journalists are using it. And just in, in the last few months, they've used it to be more real time and to produce more work. And I think very importantly, they were able to use the technology um, to, to shoot the wildfires in the West. And if, if you think about that example, what does 5G do for news gathering or for journalism? When you think about photojournalists trying to bear witness in a wildfire. It means the editor is able to see the work in real time and potentially 
get them sort of in and out faster. So I think the possibilities for news gathering are really exciting. Now, this has been a fantastic partnership. And I think that what you are articulated is how you can make application based on the capabilities on 5G. And uh, it's just uh, great to hear. I mean, the capacity of 5G, I mean, you can shoot so many more photos. You can uh, real time, which means that they, your readers will get the information so much faster. And then, of course, the coverage you can do in places you've never been able to make coverage before in real time. And I think that's the capabilities of 5G. And that's also what this partnership has been all about uh, the platform on 5G and what type of applications you see as a leading journalistic organization, and uh, both for your internal organization, but also for your readers, which is just amazing to see. That, that's right. Um, let, let me talk a little bit about how it, it changes the, the experience for the reader or the viewer or, or the listener in print journalism. Um, what the, the reader gets is kind of bounded by the format, right? There's only a certain number of column inches for there to be words or a certain amount of space for a photograph. What 5G does is it just like breaks open all of those previous boundaries. So there's there's more space to work with. There's more bandwidth mm. to work with. You know, you, you can go out beyond the frame and all of that means that journalism itself can be a much, much richer experience for the consumer. Now, Mary, I, first of all, I want to thank you and your whole New York Times team for a, a fantastic collaboration. And, uh, and now when 5D is getting real, it's just going to be so exciting for you as an organization, but also for the readers to see how 5D is coming alive with all these new type of functionalities and features that 5D is bringing. So once again, thank you, Meredith, and thank you to the whole New York Times team. Thank you. Another important strategic partners is Riot Games. We have been working with Riot Games to change the future of gaming. Let's take a look. I'm happy to introduce to you the CEO of uh, Riot Games, Nicolo Laurent. Hi, Nicolo. Hi, Hans. Good to see you again. Good seeing you. Hey, tell me a little bit, what is the difference on, when it comes to gaming between 4G and 5G? To me, there are a lot of differences, Hans, uh, you know, from better bandwidth and faster download. But I have to be honest, as a really hardcore gamer myself and game maker, the part that I'm the most excited about is low latency. You know, knowing that I can count on my skill shots, I know they're gonna land, and we can finally play real-time hardcore games on, on mobile and take it to the next level. That's what I'm really excited about, personally. And when you think about that low latency, and, uh, and you think about accessibility to 5G for, for your gamers and the gaming community, how do you see that 5G will change that? Here's the thing, like the internet has really evolved towards increasing bandwidth over the last few decades. But for gamers, what matters is latency. So when I register a, a shot or a movement, the server can compute it right, right away. But if there's lag, that's very frustrating. And that's why like real-time gaming, competitive gaming has been a bit behind on mobile for the last few years. I think that's about to change. Uh, we're gonna see more and more um, you know, competitive games, hardcore games, high quality games coming on mobile devices. And as a game maker, we can take it to the next level. But think about really big, immersive, content-driven game. At Riot, we are developing such games. We're not only developing session-based competitive games, we're also developing massive immersive world. And it's kind of hard to bring this on mobile and ask people to download 100 gig of content before they can play. With 5G, we can imagine downloading a small part of the game and then streaming some of the assets. 
so that you can really enjoy the game faster and also don't have to take the whole storage of your phone. That type of technology really gets us excited because now we can think about you know, cross-device, cross-play for some of our most ambitious, content-driven, creative, you know, immersive games. Nicolo, you, you, you're leading one of the largest and most successful gaming companies in the world. And one area that you have been pioneering is, of course, also tournaments. And uh, how do you see tournaments being different from 5G and what will be the impact for players? 5G will enable us to really push the boundaries of the eSport experience. So if you're a sports fan, not just an eSports fan, and you go to a stadium right now, you all have, we've all had the same experience where the network is really in a bad condition. With 5G, especially high-band 5G, we're gonna be able to have a really reliable connection in those venues. And that will enable us to do really cool things for players. Imagine you can watch your main game, uh, the eSports match on a big screen, but on your phone, on other screens, you can have different camera angle. You can follow a particular player or faker or anybody else. And also you can switch cameras smoothly, again, thanks to low latency and a high bandwidth. And so we really think we can elevate the eSport experience. We've done it on PC over the years with pro views and other features like that. We think bringing this to mobile can really enhance the experience and we can't wait to do it. Nicolo, it has been a great partnership. And uh, of course, we at Verizon are super excited for the announcement of the new game and uh, how that will be enabled by mobility and 5G. You're right, you know, we're, we're about to launch uh, League of Legends Wild Drift uh, on mobile very soon. And this is typically a game that would highly benefit from being on a 5G network. Faster download, faster patching, obviously, but also that low latency, making sure that your your skill shots, your 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 decisions are are really registered quickly. I think it's going to change behaviors. Mm. As a gamer right now, when I go outside a coffee shop or at my friend's house, the first thing I ask is, "Hey, give me the Wi-Fi password," because I assume I'm going to I'm going to have a better connection on Wi-Fi than on the cellular network. I think that's going to change. I think what I'm gonna do soon is deactivate Wi-Fi to make sure my phone stays on the cellular network. I think that's pretty exciting. And so, again, I can't wait as, as a player myself, but also as a game maker, to have the technology widely adapted. Nicolo, thank you very much. And thank you for you and your team changing the future of gaming. Thank you, Hans. Really happy to work with you and, and uh, on, on 5G. And this will enable players to have a much better experience on a number of fronts. This will enable game makers like us to push the boundaries and creativity of the type of game we can bring on mobile. So we're really excited about this partnership and how hand in hand we can make the experience evolve better for players. Thank you, Nicolo and Riot Games. And thank you, NFL and New York Times for being such a great partners and for making 5G real. When the best companies partner on the best network, the consumer wins. We're just scratching on the surface of what 5G can do. It's so transformative, so it's a very exciting future. Thanks for joining us.